Welcome back to my Road to Glory here on College Football 25 with three-star quarterback Keith Hayes at the University of Minnesota. We are not off to a great start this season. We are 3-2, and two, so right now we do have a winning record. In the last episode, we managed to put together a couple decent games and get a couple wins, but we also lost to Rutgers. But today we get to kick off against a 3-2 and two Iowa Hawkeyes. And we will get the ball to start things. So let's go ahead and run this handoff to Taylor, who goes to the outside, and he's going to end up with a solid six-yard run to start today. Looks like we're going to start with a handoff simulator of College Football 25. On second and four, we're going right back to the running back again, and now it's a third and five. I did have to burn one of our extra plays here because Coach wanted to run a halfback draw on third down, but we're not doing that. Let's go ahead and drop back to pass and see if we can't find anyone open. We're going to the tight end who cannot make the catch. All right. When we come back out, it is still 0-0, zero zero, so our defense was able to hold up there. On first and 10, we'll drop back and throw this one to the outside. That'll be caught for the first down and brought down to the 35. Now we shall go back to just running the ball here. On first down, and Taylor is met in the backfield and hammered down for a loss of three. Let's see if we can throw our way out of this one. Uh, the hot route seems to be a weird, like, out route. We'll see if we can actually hit that. And I don't really see that coming open. I don't see anything coming open. We're getting sacked on the play. All right, held on to that one way too long. Now on a third and 21, we are sending everybody deep and hoping for the best. So we're just going to launch this downfield, and our receivers have no speed whatsoever, so obviously they're not going to outrun anybody. Luckily for us, the Iowa offense is apparently still not very good. It is still tied at zero as we come back out. Roll to the outside. Now throw this one on the run, and we will find our man for the first down all the way to about the 45. Now we have called an RPO. Not really sure how well this is going to go or not. I actually kind of like that to the outside. Never mind. No one blocked, so it didn't work. Had anyone managed to actually block a defensive back, that may have gained a few yards. But now on second and 10, we'll drop back to the pass. And we're just going to take off with Keith Hayes and slide down to set up a third and three. All right, guys. We need to keep this drive moving. Let's send our running back in motion. Hayes will drop back to the pass. And the running back's wide open and easy toss and he's got the first down breaking tackles all the way down to the 29 now with a pistol set we're gonna run the play action and see if anyone wants to come open downfield never mind we get sacked immediately that sack would wrap up the first quarter now on second and 18 and we got a man wide open down the sideline never mind apparently i did not think he was going to be able to make that play but he did so it brings up a third and 18 see if we can get downfield at all or at least get into field goal range we'll drop back and we're going to be under pressure. Roll to the outside, not seeing anyone come open. And hopefully this is enough range for our kicker as we go out of bounds of the 32. Well, I'm not 100% sure what happened, but I do know it's still 0-0. Zero to zero, But now we have the ball with a first and 10 at the Iowa 30-yard line. So let's come out and see if we can do anything on this drive. And that is going to get intercepted down the sideline. I wanted to throw that a lot sooner. The game apparently did not register R1 until way later. Cool. Just a defensive slugfest today. We would start this drive with a four-yard run. It is still 0-0. Zero to zero. We go back to Taylor, and he's going to set up a third and two. And now we are going to run this jet toss. So let's see if Glenn can actually get the first down to keep this drive moving. There's the toss. He cuts up the middle and has the first down and a bit more, trying to break back to the other side, but brought down at the 30, which is where we threw the interception. So this time we'll try to play it safe and just run the ball with Taylor. Out of a shotgun set, that's where we go. Right up the middle, there was nobody there, all the way down to the 16. Now, Coach has called a pass play here, so let's see if we cannot screw this up. There's the play action. And I see our tight end will throw on the run. That is caught, and he holds on to it down to the two-yard line. Let's just give it to our running back so we can get into the end zone, and we can finally get some points on the board today. From just inside the two, we hand it to Taylor, and that is not going to be a touchdown. We'll try it one more time, but Taylor has apparently subbed out, and I am not going to try to pronounce that backup running back's name. So on second and goal, we give it to him, and he will also not find the end zone. So now we're going to try an option play from the one-yard line. And it looks like they're going to crash down, so Hayes will keep it, and it gets flown up to the outside, and Hayes fumbles the ball. So no, there will not be any points on this drive. And as we come out to start our next drive, obviously it is still 0-0 zero to zero here, but we get to begin from our own four-yard line. That's a handoff to Taylor, and he gets us out of danger. Now back in a shotgun set, we do have all three timeouts. Let's go to the tight end on the outside. He'll make the catch for a gain of four. Another shotgun set will come out and run the play action. 
No one's covering the tight end, so we'll throw to him again, and he gets the first down all the way down to the 37. Another shotgun set and another pass play. We're going to go over the middle. That will be a jumping reception, but held on to all the way down to the Iowa 42. And now we're going to run all go. So apparently we're just going to send everybody deep and hope for the best on this play. We'll drop back. Not seeing anyone come open. Can we at least get out of the pocket? No, that's another fumble. Are you kidding me? And our defense cannot hold them out this time. So now we're down 7-0. And what feels like kind of an insurmountable deficit. But we're going to go deep here on the first play of the drive. And that's going to fall incomplete. And now Coach has called a run play. So he's apparently fine just going to halftime with this score. Or not because now he has called all go. So we'll see if anyone comes open deep downfield. There's not a lot of speed on this receiver room as I mentioned before. But we are going to find our man. That's going to be caught by Glenn who breaks a couple tackles. But will be brought down as time expires at the 10. Now in the second half, they did get the ball first to start this half, but it remains 7-0 as we get the ball back. And Taylor with a handoff to the outside will start this drive with a 7-yard carry. Now with a second and three, Hayes back in shotgun again. We'll drop back to pass, and we'll take this throw to the outside, throwing a lot of underneath routes, but it's another first down. A loss of one on the next play would bring up a second and 11. Out of a five-wide set, we'll drop back, and once again, we'll throw the underneath route, but it's wide open for the first down. Now we have called an RPO from the 49-yard line, but we are just going to hand this one to our running back who goes up the middle, and he gets a gain of eight this time. That brings up a second and two. Hayes out of a five-wide set. Once again, we'll take the tight end. That gets knocked into the air and will luckily just fall incomplete, but it sets up a third down, and yeah, using the extra plays doesn't do much, but we do get a jet touch pass. Let's go ahead and run that. I trust that a lot more than just handing the ball off and trusting our offensive lineman. So we'll send Glenn in motion. It'll be a toss to the outside. The blocking sets up. He gets to the edge inside the 20, and it'll get met and brought down to the 16-yard line. I thought there was a chance he was gone. We just have to not screw this up at this point. Out of a pistol set again, we'll take the snap. Roll to the outside. Not seeing anyone come open. We'll just dump this one off, and that's going to result in a loss of two. That was a dumb decision, but it's whatever. Now a second and 12. We're going to come out in a shotgun set again, and Coach has called yet another pass play. Hayes will take the snap, and will take this one to the running back as well, but he can't hold on to it. This sets up a third and 12 now. Out of a shotgun set, we'll drop back. We're going to go downfield on this one, and it gets intercepted by the linebacker, and they'll take over inside the five, or a thought inside the five, at the seven-yard line. As we start the fourth quarter of this game, we are now down 14-0, and our offense is really not looking good at all, and that's going to be an incomplete pass again. Second and 10. Out of a pistol set, we'll take the snap, and another quick throw to the outside will once again be dropped. Third and 10. A pistol set one more time. We'll drop back, and we're going to lob this one downfield. That'll be caught for the first down into Iowa territory and forced out of the 39. Occasionally, this offense looks like something that might actually be able to perform for a minute, but we have been falling apart this entire game. On the next play, we'll drop back to pass again, and another, I'm sorry, that's an in route. I have about said comeback. Either way, first down Minnesota, and now we're just going to run the ball. So we'll give this one to Taylor from the 27-yard line of Iowa. Take the snap, hand off to him. He goes to the outside, and will be met and brought down near the 20. That brings up a second and four. We're going to send Taylor in motion this time. We'll drop back to pass, and that's getting intercepted because I cannot apparently read a defense to save my life. At this point in the road to glory, I feel like we would be benched in real life. But first and 10, we get to come back out and try again. So we're going to launch this one downfield on that slot fade. And we may have our man, and we don't because he can't hold on through the contact. Now a second and 10. Hayes out of shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. And we're going to fire this one to the outside. And another interception. All right. We are somehow not dead in this game just yet. We're going to drop back to pass. And we're just going to take off with Hayes to the outside. Make this defender miss, and no, we're not. All right, I'll take a seven-yard gain, I guess, down to the two-minute warning. Now on a second and three, out of shotgun, we'll drop back to pass. Looking to go downfield, we'll throw this one towards the outside. That'll be caught for the first down, out of bounds of the 37. I would really like to avoid burning any of our timeouts. A minute 55 to go. We'll drop back to pass and throw this one downfield. That one will be incomplete. Second and 10 with a five-wide set. We'll drop back to pass. And we're going to take off with Hayes again, this time up the middle. We do have some blockers up here. And we're going to get met and brought down about the 40. 
another shotgun formation and another pass play. We are just going to put this one into the end zone and please outrun your defender. That doesn't happen here. Second and 10. Hayes out of shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. We're going to take off again. It's the only way we've been able to move the ball on this drive and we'll slide down to the 26. First and 10 with a five wide set. We'll drop back to pass again and we're going to throw this one to the tight end into the end zone. Do we finally have a touchdown? No, we don't. Now on a second down, we'll drop back to the pass again. We'll throw this one to the outside. He makes the catch and will be met and brought down inside the 10 to lead to a first and goal. We have about a minute to go now. The clock is stopped. We're going to see if we can hopefully hit our tight end here, but I don't really think he's going to come open. That guy throws a decent block. We'll just take off with Hayes, try to juke some players out and get brought down at the three yard line. We really need to hurry back to the line now. Under a minute to play. It's really going to depend on if we can even get the ball back here. Hayes will drop back and we'll lob this one to the end zone and find our man. We finally score a touchdown. Well, someone might need to explain to me why we're going for two. That would make it a six point game, but either whatever, I guess we'll go ahead and try this. And we're just going to take that throw to the end zone and that one will be incomplete because he got absolutely murdered. So now if we get the ball back, we're going to need a two point conversion on top of a touchdown to just tie the game. And we will get the ball back with no timeouts, 40 seconds remaining out of a shotgun set. We'll come out and put this ball deep downfield for Glenn, and I think we may have put that way too far. And I'm pretty sure this is the same exact play, if not something very similar. But this time we're going to go to the tight end downfield, who's in single coverage, and this time he will not make the catch. All right, I thought he had a chance at that. Now a third and 10 with 29 seconds to go. Need to get downfield kind of quickly here. Hayes will take the snap. Everyone to take this throw, and he's make the catch for the first down. Cuts up the sideline and is forced out of the 44. 23 seconds to go here in the game. Hayes out of shotgun. We'll drop back. We're going to go deep downfield for square, and Williams will make the catch off to the races, and another touchdown for Minnesota. Now, can we tie this game? Because for some reason, we decided to go for two last time. We have to go for two this time because we did not get it. And we'll roll to the outside. We're just going to walk in with Hayes and we might be going to OT today. We are officially in overtime. They would get a field goal on their drive. So if we get a touchdown, we somehow get out of here with a win. Hand off to Taylor and that's going to be a loss of one. Now on a second and 11, we're going to send Taylor in motion again. Hayes will drop back to the pass. And we're just going to take off with Hayes because that's what's worked so far. And we're going to slide down to bring up a third and five. Out of a pistol set here on third down. We'll drop back to the pass under quick pressure. I called Max Protect, slid my line in everything, and we still get murdered like that. Awesome. Well, can we make the field goal? I don't think we did, so we just lost this game 17-14. to Well, we fought hard, but obviously it was not enough. The four interceptions definitely did not help. I finally kind of got it together late in the game, but obviously it does not matter here. This season is obviously being pretty brutal for us, but we do have five skill points to use right now. And first, I want to upgrade our IQ here. Hopefully, we can actually hold on to the ball. We are now up to an 80 overall, but I want to go ahead and do it one more time because it's only going to be two more skill points. It moves us up to an 81, but now our carrying is up to a 72. So maybe we won't fumble the ball every other hit now. But our next game is going to be a very, very tough one. We have to travel to Eugene and take on the number four ranked Oregon Ducks. But whenever I start bitching about the receivers not having enough speed, this is what I mean. I think I've showed this earlier in the season before, but 89 speed on our number one receiver and then 90 on our number two and our number three, that is just absolutely awful. And then our slot receiver is out here with an 88 speed. This is absolutely abysmal and I really wish I could change some of this around. Our defense does start out strong though in this game though, holding them to zero points. So we get to come out for our first drive from our own three yard line and Taylor's going to get hit at the two. So now it's a second and 11. We're going to go right back to the running back. If we try to pass here, it will 100% be a safety. So out of a pistol set, we're going to go right back to Taylor who will go to the outside. He gets us out of danger and a lot more actually down the sideline and finally caught and brought out of bounds at the 33. Now it is a pass play for us. So we come out in a shotgun set. We will send Taylor in motion. We'll drop back in a quick throw downfield. We'll be caught by our tight end and he gets into Oregon territory. Time for a jet toss pass. We're going to send our running back in motion. There's the toss. He gets to the outside, gets a couple nice blocks, and we'll turn that into a gain of about six yards. Now with a second and four. 
We come out in a pistol set. We're going to give it to our backup running back this time, and he is going to get met and brought down in the backfield. So now it's a third and six, and Taylor is checked back into the game. But it will be a play-action pass under quick pressure, and immediately we are sacked. Fourth and 13. Our defense is really going to try to keep us in this game, though. It is still 0-0 as we come back out to start our next drive. There's an RPO that we just give to Taylor, and he turns that into a gain of four. How about a second straight RPO from this offense? We're going to go right back to Taylor again, who goes to the outside and has the first down into Oregon Territory. Back to being handoff simulator 25. We will give it to Taylor again, who goes to the outside and is met for a loss of two. And now it is time to switch from handoff simulator to interception simulator because on second and 12, we actually get a pass play here. And we're going to look to go deep downfield. That single coverage. Can you please come down with it? And never mind. The safety came over to help. And now it's a third and 12. Well, we are going to send everybody deep now. Hayes back in a shotgun set again. Let's go ahead and slide protection to this side because just in case that linebacker comes in. We'll take the snap and look at it go downfield. We'll get rid of this four tight end who will make the catch. That's not even our tight end. That's actually our slot receiver, but we get a first down anyway. On the next play, we would give it back to Taylor who would get a five-yard carry. So now it's a second and five as we go back to him again. And this time he gets the first down to the outside, breaking tackles. And we have the lead as we go up 7-0. And our defense is holding strong right now. We come out, it is still 7-0. With a five wide set, we'll drop back to the pass and get sacked to end the first quarter. Now with a second and 18. We'll come out of a five wide set and we're gonna look to run with Hayes here because I see a lot of running room and we're gonna get met and fumble the ball even though I just upped our carry and we're gonna fumble it anyway. And Oregon's probably gonna tie the game because they have great field position. That is exactly what they do. So we come out. It is now tied back up this time at seven. And we'll start with this play to our running back to the outside. He's got the first down all the way down to the 41. On the next play, Taylor would take the ball for a five yard carry. So now it's a second and five. We go back to Taylor and he's got another first down. No, it's a third and one. And we're just going to go right back to our running back because why not? But it is not Taylor. It is Bangora in the backfield. So let's see if he can get the first down. Right at the middle, he easily has the first and will be met and brought down to the 47. The next play would be an RPO where we would get absolutely nothing. So now it's a second and 10. And we'll drop back to the pass, roll to the outside, and get rid of that one downfield. We find our man. That's Williams for the first down all the way down to the 19. Just don't do anything stupid. Hayes out of shotgun. We'll drop back to the pass. And we'll take this throw to an open man, and that's going to be a gain of five. The next play would be a three-yard loss in the backfield for our running back. So now on a third and eight, we will come out with a pass play, trying to keep the drive alive. We'll fake it. Now rolling to the outside. We've got to escape the pressure, and there is none of that here. So it's a fourth and 19. And of course, our kicker misses that field goal. So it is 14 to seven when we come back out. We're going to start with a lob down the left side, and that's going to be caught. He's off to the races. Can he please actually get away? He makes that man miss, and a touchdown for Minnesota. Oregon would respond with a touchdown of their own right before halftime, though. So it is still 14 to 21. We come out to start the second half, and we're going to go to our tight end on the outside who makes the catch and has the first down. The next couple plays would just be a run by Taylor. They would both gain a yard. So now it's a third and eight as we come out to try to keep our drive alive. We're going to try to go to our tight end who can't make the catch. But our defense was able to get us the ball back with still being a seven-point game. We would start this drive with a five-yard run from Taylor. Now it's going to be a toss to Taylor on the outside, and he's going to have the first down. Yes, they rule that he got it to the 49. Now we're going to give the ball right back to him on the very next play. This is a lot of Taylor in today's game plan, but we're still in this game, so I'm not going to complain too much. Hand off to Taylor right at the middle, who's going to bounce it to the outside, have the first down, and get met and brought down to the 38. Now we have called some slant routes. So let's see if we can give our running back a bit of a break here as we drop back and no one ever came open to me and we get sacked on a loss of eight. Second and 18. Hayes back in shotgun. We'll drop back to the pass. And we're gonna throw this one underneath. That'll be caught. And now he cuts up the field and will be met and brought out of bounds to bring up a third and seven at the 35. And I have never seen this play get called a day in my life. All right, so we'll see if this actually works or not. We'll drop back from a pistol set. And try to go to our tight end, who is now wide open all the way down to about the 15-yard line. Taylor would get the carry on the next play to bring up a second and six. Now at the eight-yard line, it's a handoff to Taylor again, who goes to the outside and makes a man miss and brings up a third down. As Oregon now has an injury, we're going to call some slant routes on a third and three. We really need to convert this and get into the end zone. Out of a five-wide set, we'll take the snap. 
and I want to roll to the outside, but no one ever came open. But Hayes can walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. I will most likely just run this play and then take us to the fourth quarter. On a second and eight, it's another handoff to Taylor, and he'll get met and brought down. They say he got a yard, but that will take us into the fourth quarter. Can we convert to avoid a three and out to start the final quarter of this game? And looking for a running lane, it never came open. I guess we'll punt it away. Following that, we are now down by seven. I should not really be shocked. We're going to come out with an RPO that's going to result, I think, in an incompletion. Now it's a second and ten. We're going to send Taylor in motion. Drop back to pass. We'll take the slant right over the middle, and no, we won't, apparently. Now for a third and ten. Hayes will drop back and look to pass again. We're going to throw this to the outside, and that one probably should have been picked off. We would then punt it away and count on our defense to get another stop, but they could not do it. So now we are down by 14. We'll see if we can do anything on this drive. Well, not there if I'm getting hit immediately. Now with a second and 10. Back in a five wide set. We'll drop back to pass again. And we're going to take this throw deep downfield to our running back who makes the catch. No, he won't. He got hit and could not hold on to it. And now we apparently want to call a screen pass. All right, we'll see how this works. Why not? Down by 14 against the number four team in the country. What do we have to lose? There's the screen, and no, there's not, because we got hit. And now we're going to go for it on fourth and 10. And if we don't get this, it's pretty much game over, aside from some stat padding. So Hayes out of shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. And we're going to try to take off, but no, we won't. I thought we had a running lane. Clearly not. That's a turnover on downs. Oregon would only get a field goal, so now with about two minutes to go, We'll come out and try to just stat pad a little bit and see if we can't get a miracle way back into the game. Was that pass really drop two? How many drops have we had today? Because I feel like it's been a lot in this episode. On the next play, we'll drop back and we're going to go to the tight end over the middle. And does he drop it? No, he does not. Eight yard gain will take us down to the two minute warning. They are massively stacking the line here. Let's go ahead and slide the line a little bit to that side and see if that doesn't help with some of the pressure coming from that side as we throw underneath that's caught by Glenn for the first down and he's going to get forced down at the 48. It's just really good to see the offense always wants to come alive once we're pretty much out of the game out of a shotgun set we'll drop back to pass and yeah held on to that way too long I should have dumped that off underneath that is seven sacks today we have gotten absolutely murdered second and 17. Out of a five wide set, we'll throw this one underneath as well. That'll be caught by our running back, and Taylor will get all the way to the 48. Now a third and six. Hayes out of shotgun. We'll draw back to the pass again, and we're going to launch this one downfield for Glenn, who will make the catch and get out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Another shotgun set. We'll draw back to the pass, and we're going to throw this one over the middle, and we are into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota, here in garbage time. That would set up a final score of 38-28, to 28, though, so we are going to lose both games in today's episode, which is always just a great episode to record. Obviously, that takes us down to 3-4 and four on the season. We are seven games through our sophomore year, and coming up, we have a home game against Nebraska, then at Northwestern, at Ohio State, which is just going to be one hell of a game. I can already expect that to happen. Then Michigan State and Wisconsin. I'm not going to lie to you guys, as of right now, it really, really feels like the transfer portal is calling my name, but I'm not going to guarantee that until the end of the season.